Okay, the story isn't just what we've covered so far. There's another reason for the question we posed in the introduction. The world of physics is usually more complex than finding one short, simple answer to every question. Red light photons have more energy, but they are fewer in number, referring to common sources like lamps or the sun. In contrast, infrared photons have less energy, but they are much, much greater in number. And it's this sheer quantity that allows them to transfer a significant amount of heat overall. First, allow us to show you a couple of charts. We are, after all, a science channel, so it's only natural that we roll out some slick diagrams to show you that you're dealing with a serious science and documentary channel. <laughs> Don't worry about their complex look. The concept behind them is very simple. Look at this first chart. In this chart, the horizontal axis is wavelength and the vertical axis is relative photon energy, assuming the total energy of the beam is constant. This chart shows that as the light's wavelength increases, meaning the colors closer to red on the spectrum, the energy of the photons decreases. Now, let's show off a bit more. Take a look at this next chart. Here, the horizontal axis is wavelength and the vertical axis is relative photon count, again, assuming the total energy of the beam is constant. This chart shows that as the wavelength increases, the number of photons increases. In simple terms, these two graphs are telling us one simple thing with a lot of attitude. Each red light photon has more energy than one infrared photon, but the number of photons reaching us from an infrared source is usually much greater than the number of red light photons. The result? You feel the infrared radiation as heat, but red light does not create that sensation. Enjoyed it? Tap the link down below to watch the full video on the Icarus channel.